It is well established that there is no hierarchy among the sources of international law. However, some norms may be considered as more important than others because of the importance of their content. These rules may be qualified as the Juskogens or peremptory norms. Article 53 of the Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties defines such norm as a norm accepted and recognized by international community of states as a whole as a norm from which no derogation is permitted and which can be modified only by a subsequent norm of general international law having the same character. Article 53 does not give any concrete examples of use against rules. Nevertheless, Fundamental norms for the protection of human dignity, such as the prohibition on torture and genocide, or fundamental norms for the peaceful relations between states, such as the prohibition on aggression, are generally considered as peremptory norms. But what are the implications of such a qualification? The first implication is indicated in the Vienna Convention on the Law of Treaties. Any treaty contrary to a peremptory norm is void, or must be terminated if a contrary peremptory norm emerged after it. This situation has never occurred. In practice, it is not likely to occur. It is difficult to imagine states concluding treaties contrary to peremptory norms, such, such as, for example, a treaty contrary to the prohibition on genocide. Other consequences may also be found in the law of state responsibility. State responsibility has been codified by, by the International Law Commission in the Articles on the Responsibility of States for Internationally Wrongful Acts. As we will see in detail later, according to those articles, states may justify violations of international law and avoid any international responsibility if they validly invoke some specific circumstances, called circumstances precluding wrongfulness. One of such circumstances is, for example, the state of necessity. However, these circumstances cannot be used to justify a violation of a peremptory norm. For example, this would prevent any state from invoking the state of necessity to justify invading the territory of another state in violation of the prohibition on aggression since such a prohibition has a peremptory status. Another consequence of use cogent in the law of state responsibility is that a serious breach of a peremptory norm entails certain obligations for every state in the world. Those obligations are mentioned in Article 41 of the Articles on State Responsibility. They include the obligation to cooperate to lawfully bring the breach to an end, the obligation not to recognize as lawful a situation created by the breach, and the obligation not to render aid or assistance in maintaining that situation. The International Court of Justice has already asserted these three consequences for all the states in its case law, in particular in its advisory opinion on the legality of the wall built by Israel in the occupied Palestinian territories. After having defined the notion of Juskogens and analyzed the legal consequences of such a qualification, let's now turn to the notion of erga omnes obligations.